Are there many paths or different paths to God? <laughs> Great question. Let me answer that uh, this way. First, I believe one of the great lessons I think that we have today is to live in a country that allows us to have various religious notions. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful that I don't have Congress deciding what I'm going to believe. Mm -hmm. Having said that, and with that tolerance and celebrating that tolerance, I believe that we all take different paths. Some people find God in church. Some people find God at the house. Some people find God in their bedroom. Some people find God in prison. There may be different paths to God, but at the end of the day, there's one God and there's one door. I believe in the Christian that Christ is that door. Are all the religions leading to that path or is only Christianity leading to that path? Well, I think you can get in Christianity and miss that path if you're not careful. Right. And I think that many people start in other religions and at some point, they, my prayer and my hope is that they will cross over. And I'm a cross over and, and see Christ as Lord, even if it's at the final moment. I believe he's the door. You's a liar! There's one way to get to God. The Bible says a highway shall be there. And a way. And that way shall be called the way of holiness. So this is why you see the potter house, but God is going to crack that pottery. Many ways to get to God. The Bible don't teach that foolishness. Jesus saith unto him. Listen at this. Now in the book of St. John chapter 14 and at verse 6. Let's compare what Jake said. To what Jesus said. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 14 and at verse 6. John 14, 26 said. Eh? St. John 14 and verse 6. All right, John 14 and verse 6. All right. Jesus saith unto him. Jesus says unto him. I am the way. No, I have many ways. I am the way. Spell way. W-A-Y. S. W-A-Y. Where's the S? No S. W-A-Y. T.D. Jakes is nothing but an evangelistic liar. That's right. T.D. Jakes is an occultic man, part of the Freemasonry. That's it. He's, he's devilish. My lovely wife celebrates you. Stand up, honey. Show him I did good. You the finest grandmama I ever saw in my life. Five kids, nine grandkids, and still rocking it. He can still twerk for the Lord. Give God a praise. My God, the blasphemy, honestly speaking, she can still twerk for the Lord. The blasphemy. Goodness gracious. These men are not of God. They are devilish. These men are satanic, money-loving preachers sent by the devil to deceive many into hell. T.D. Jakes. Have you noticed now anything and anyone they call themselves Christians? You will have a gay parade. That's right. And over 85% of the homosexuals will say we're Christians. Ask yourself, viewers, why TD Jakes don't say nothing about homosexuality, same sex marriages, men with men, women with women. Think. Why T.D. Jakes won't preach against homosexual or preach against sin is because he's hanging out with known homosexuals in the music industry. Look at him hanging out with P. Diddy. So happy, my lord. Why don't he say nothing? He's busy flapping his hands around. Why don't he say nothing? Either you are against it or you condone it. If you are against wrong, you are speak out against the wrong. The reason T.D. Jakes won't preach against wrong or sin is because he's busy trying to rob his church members of their hard-earned money. 
in the name of prosperity preaching. God is my business partner and my giving to him is his cut. And if I rip off his cut, why should he bless me? I start giving on that level so that God would owe me. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? You can't handle that. I started giving on the level where I put God in debt. And God said, I'll owe no man. I start giving on the money that I wanted to make. I start giving on a deal that hadn't closed yet. And that God had to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing because he wasn't going to be in debt to me. Imagine this devil calling God his business partner that he's trying to put God in debt. What sort of foolishness and garbage? Doctrines of devils. I forgot the gentleman's name. A journalist gave an interview to Jake's. No, not Pierce Morgan. And he asked Jake's a question. Can homosexuality, in fact, the interview is on YouTube. Can homosexuality and the church coexist? Jake's didn't stutter. He said, why, well, certainly. Then Jake said, there's many ways, there's a whole lot of ways to get to God. Uh, a question coming in from uh, Black185 in our, in our uh, digital community said, do you, do you think, I'm assuming, uh, LGBT community and the black church can coexist? Absolutely. I, I, let me push that question because that, that's sort of an obvious yes. Church ain't turning nobody away. How should the black church and LGBT community exist? I think it's going to be diverse from church to church. Every church has a different opinion on the issue, and every gay person is different. And I think that to to speak the church, the black church or white church or any kind of church you want to call it, are all the same is totally, totally not true. And all gay people are not the same. All gay people are the same. What are you talking about, you devil? Honestly speaking, that's why God called them abomination. My Lord. The, the types of relationships that are afforded are based on the types of people in each individual case. Yeah. And the LGBTs of wipes and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. And the church should have the right to have its own convictions and values. If you don't like those convictions and values and you totally disagree with it, don't try to change my house. Move into your own and, and establish that sort of thing and find somebody who gets what you get about faith and uh, trust me I've talked to enough LGBT they are not all the same T.D. Jakes is a complete false prophet wait all gay people are not the same what is he talking about all gay people are living in sin and the Bible calls them abomination so this false prophet my God he's just saying any and everything that will please the homosexual community that's it Let's keep watching. So that covers what happens outside the church. Right. Inside the church, has your thinking uh, biblically, scripturally, hermeneutically shifted at all? And the reason I ask that is because I talk to a lot of ministers now, and there was that big conference out in South Africa in the last couple of weeks where people from all over the world were there. And this is one of the issues that came up along with race and other things. And, and one of the questions was, is, is there a way to approach Christian tradition, Christian scripture, in, in, in light of a new understanding of LGBT. For example, uh, 18th century, there might have been a particular understanding of what slavery meant mm -hmm. in relation to Paul, in relation to the mm -hmm. New Testament, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, that has shifted to the point that it is socially accepted that irrespective of what text says, literally, we don't support slavery as a body, mm -hmm. right? And, and even though it varies church, church most churches don't support it. So <laughs> right, right. Might be a few out there that <laughs> we don't get invited to those. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but similarly, is, there's room for that same kind of shift. I feel so sorry for anyone following T.D. Jakes because you see this devil, he's not giving any biblical explanation, no. He's just giving his own wicked, ungodly opinion to satisfy his own wickedness, that's it. I'm fascinated by your take on it, um, and I, I want to not just challenge you, on it, I, I want to understand your thinking on this, because the thing I appreciate about you most is that you operate in good faith. Mm -hmm. uh, you're honest, you're transparent, and about your struggle with these things, mm -hmm. and about your convictions about well, these Well, it's things. a complex issue. It's a real complex issue, and it was in the Bible days. Sexuality versus spirituality. Paul spends a lot of time wrestling back and forth, trying to understand, uh, should a woman wear her head covered? Is, you know, uh, should you cut your hair? I mean, they grappled back then. And, and this devil's supposed to be a so-called bishop in the church? 
There is absolutely nothing complex about the Bible. God makes it so clear in the Bible that homosexuality is a sin. That's it. God calls it abomination. So he's sitting here saying the Bible is complex and trying to, to, to give explanation to justify that lifestyle and behavior. My God. And this guy is supposed to be a so-called bishop. 